What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video, another buyer's guide for you. Today guys, we are talking everything Ned Rig. Ned Rigs is another one of those categories that is just can, can be overwhelming. You know, jump on Tackle Warehouse and you just look at heads. I mean, there's probably 40 or 50 different ones. So today I'm gonna try and simplify that for you, give you some confidence baits, the best heads that I have confidence in, some rods, that sort of stuff. But uh, hopefully you guys had a, an amazing Thanksgiving and you guys are, are checking out the different buyer's guides and getting in on that, uh, that uh, Tackle Warehouse sale. So um, Ned Riggs, you know, let's start off with talking about, well, first off, this is my Ned Rig box. Got a few different heads, different styles of heads. I got some of my key baits, colors in there. So this is the box that goes in the boat with me. And then I will have probably a, a, a bag with you know my different baits and stuff. But uh, depending on where you're fishing in the country, kind of depends on the different baits you're gonna be using. And uh, believe it or not, when the fishing gets ultra tough, a Ned Rig, is my confidence bait. You know, it took us a few years to kind of catch on to the whole little Ned Rig deal, put down the, the shaky head, put down the drop shot, and pick up that Ned Rig. Uh, but ever since, man, it's been, it's been awesome. And I think a lot of you guys can agree, the Ned Rig uh, bite or deal just kind of has just grown to be its own category. So uh, let's talk, let's talk baits. Actually, let's talk heads first. I'll simplify that for you guys, and then we'll talk baits and then go on from there. So, uh, it, Ned Rigging, if you guys know me, you guys know that I like sensitivity on my bottom contact baits. Uh, you know, I've been throwing a ton of these guys right here. This is a tungsten Ned head. This is made by Swagger Tackle. This is the, the Flanders head, and uh, you know, real quickly, Tungsten is just more sensitive than lead. So if you're down there dragging bottom, you're hopping that Ned rig up, that, uh, that, that uh, tungsten is gonna transfer that sensitivity better to your hand than, than lead will. So uh, if you can afford it, uh, they're actually on sale right now with, with the sales going on, but uh, if you can afford it, try the tungsten stuff. And again, those, those Swagger Tackle, uh, Ned Flanders heads uh, come in a three pack. Three of my favorite colors, black, green pumpkin, and chartreuse. If you guys haven't tried a chartreuse head on a Ned Rig, especially fishing for smallmouth, you guys are missing out. You know, smallmouth just really hate those bright colors. And I found that even if I'm throwing a natural colored bait, putting a chartreuse head on there, uh, just ups my ups my bite. Sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes you want to go natural, but if you haven't, pick up some of those uh, chartreuse heads because there are going to be times this year that you're going to find that those fish see that thing a lot better and eat it a lot better. So that's my tungsten tungsten uh, heads. Now, if you guys are are using lead, I have I have two for you. I have the traditional Z-Man, the Nedlocks heads. These are just your traditional lead Ned heads. They too also come in chartreuse. And then another one of my favorites is gonna be the owner block head. Obviously the benefit of having the owner, you get the owner hook in there, uh, very sharp and the fish don't come off, but that is another amazing lead, uh, lead head. I think I got one, got some rigged up somewhere, but uh, oh, right here. That's this guy right there. So again, totally up to you. Depends on uh, price points, that sort of stuff, sales. But uh, that, that those are the probably the three most common heads that I use. Again, can't go wrong with either of these two lead guys, the Z-Man or the owner. And then if you're going, uh, going tungsten, check out these guys right here. So Bates. You know, baits is another one. It's really hard to simplify because there's so many different baits on the market. I mean, you got like salamanders and uh, and worms and and beaver style baits, creature style baits. So there's all these different types of baits, but I've really narrowed it down. Traveling around the country, fishing different bodies of water, I've really narrowed it down to like 
five or six. And uh, to simplify it even more, I mean, Z-Man makes up three of those. So let's start with there uh, because they're kind of the, the uh, I guess you'd say the, the originators of the Ned Rig, the, the TRD, uh, old Ned himself. But um, let's talk about just the basic finesse TRD. Now the benefit of going with, with the Z-Man stuff is you have the Elaztec. Very, very durable baits. I mean, you could catch 50 fish on one bait. Uh, has that Elaztec. Again, it's very durable. Uh, it floats. So those of you guys that are really worried about if your Ned Rig is floating, you know, typically I'm fishing my Ned Rig a little bit faster. I'm kind of hopping it, giving it some movement. I'm not just sitting there just dragging it. So I don't care as much if it floats. But if you are in that situation and you care, these guys float. So that bait stands up and that little tail's up there dancing. But um, the original, the TRD, is probably a staple in everybody's Ned Rig fishing. And then to branch it out from there, I'm gonna give you guys my two favorite colors in these baits that I talk about because these are all my confidence baits and I have some, uh, some favorite colors in all of these. This one's actually called Green Pumpkin Gobi. But again, I will link you some of my favorites. So there's the original TRD. Then they went and made a little, actually got one, got one rigged up right here. This is the TRD Bugs. It's a little beaver style bait, little crop bait. It's just a different Ned rig, right? It's just a different profile down there. So when everybody's down there throwing your traditional straight three inch worm, adding a little bit of a, a, a different profile, a different bait really helps out. And I've actually found myself throwing these more than the traditional TRD, but the TRD bugs and then the ticklers. It's a solid head and it has little tentacles over here. Make sure you guys pull this stuff apart before you're fishing them. Same thing with the TRD bugs. But you can see that's like a little hula, hula top up there, uh, just dancing around. Again, it's just different movement, giving those fish something that they haven't seen. So those are the three staples for me if I'm gonna be fishing the Elaztec stuff. Those three right there. Again, I'll link my favorite colors down there. Got some of those rigged up for you right there. That's that little ticklers rigged on that swagger head. You can see how finesse of a, I mean, that's, you're looking at less than three inches right there. Uh, it's just an ultra finesse technique that works really well on pressured fish, wor works really well on clear water and goby eaters. So if you're, you're a fishery and, and small crawdads. So if you're a fishery that has gobies or crawdads in them, the, I guarantee fish in your fishery will eat these baits. So there's the ticklers. There's the, the TRD bugs. Just a cool, cool profile. And then I showed you that straight TRD. Now next up, got a couple different ones for you. Probably my second favorite. I'm not really putting them in order. Um, I wouldn't say those, those are my favorite Elastec of, of the Z-Mans. Uh, probably my number one confidence Ned rig bait around the country from the Great Lakes to, to Havasu all over would be these guys right here. This is actually the Robo Worm Ned rig, uh, Ned Worm. Two of my favorite colors right here. This is Desert Craw, stuck some enormous, enormous smallmouth on that guy right there. And this is a Tackle Warehouse exclusive color. I think it's black, blue, green pumpkin. Again, I'll link it down below in the video description, but it's just got uh, black, blue, and it has some blue flake in it. Um, very, very successful with that. That is hands down my number one color in the in the uh, Robo Worm Neds. But those two colors are my favorite. Again, this is just something, the benefit of going with the Robo Worm, you get those different colors, you know, Margarita Mutilator, they got Morning Dawn, you know, all of your favorite Robo Worm colors, they, most of them are available in the, in the Ned Rig, but these two colors right here are my hands down my favorite. And like I said, caught big ones on both those colors. Moving on, uh, X-Zone. X-Zone is kind of a, uh, a newer brand for us. I know uh, Matt started throwing them a few years ago. I started throwing them a couple years ago. But this guy right here, that's that X-Zone Ned Worm. You can see it's got that bulbous tail on there. It's just a different action when you're down there on bottom, just kind of dancing around, tantalizing those fish. Uh, you know, these fish are gonna be really finicky, especially in the cold water. So getting, getting down there, examining that bait, 
that X zone has, has done really, really well for us. We actually caught a lot of fish on it up on the Great Lakes, Lake Michigan this year. Uh, that is another really good bait. Just a little bit different profile than the, than the robo worm. Again, it's all about being different. Find your five or six confidence baits and then rotate through them and see what the fish uh, are liking. Let the fish tell you, because believe it or not, it changes. You know, fisheries change, days change, bites change. These fish will change. And they're gonna tell you um, what they like for that day. Next up is gonna be the missile bait. Again, it's all about that, that profile, that action. That has that paddle, not a swim bait tail, but it's got that paddle tail style tail on there lots of i guess beaver style maybe lots of action and uh really really cool colors um this is my favorite color that's the uh, plutonium plutonium green pumpkin core uh really really cool it's like a it's almost like an electric shad but it, they have the core shot in there with the green pumpkin i'll show you this guy right here probably show up better in the in the light but the the action of the ned bomb is is unlike all these others, but then you combine it with that core shot. It's almost like a uh, iridescent and then has a core shot and a really cool bait. But the Ned Bomb, another one of those baits is just a staple in the arsenal. Again, it's all about simplifying, you know, figure out, like I said, what those fish like, what the, the, the bait fish or the crawdads, what they look like in your fishery and try and mimic those, the gobies. Uh, and then last but not least, Savage Gear. Savage Gear has two different products that I really, really like. Matt, I wanna say Matt's favorite is this guy right here. This is the Salamander. Now, the Savage Gear stuff has the new, or they're called their new Duratech. It's, it's a lot like the Elastic, very, very durable uh, floats, just a, an all around, very durable, realistic looking bait. That's the Salamander. It's even got little, little feet on it and everything. Again, it's, it's all about presentation just tons of action and you get that that durability this is the savage gear goby so it's actually a hollow head unlike the the ticklers by um, z-man so it's hollow versus solid a little bit more tentacles but you can see it's the same type of thing it's got some fins on there it's made to look like a goby down there on the bottom so again if you're fishing a fishery that has gobies or little sculpins you know a lot of people think about those little bait fish, they just assume that they don't have them. But sculpins, you know, a lot of fisheries, especially on the West Coast, have them. So um, don't be afraid to throw a Ned rig um, on a fishery that you don't think has gobies because believe it or not, there's a lot of bait fish down there that mimic them or look like them and uh, you will have success. But again, that is that Savage Gear. That's that, that goby. Again, the same, that Duratech technology. A lot of companies now are starting to come out with it. So pretty cool for us fishermen because you don't go through as many baits. But those guys right there, guys, those are my favorite. Again, simplifying it. These are the baits right here that uh, travel with us across the country, uh, depending on where we are, water clarity, the fish, the, the, the water temps, all that stuff is gonna really determine what we throw. But uh, again, that's five or six baits and I'll link my favorite two colors of each down below in the video description for you. But uh, these guys catch fish. Now, last but not least, let's talk rods real quick because believe it or not, there are specific rods that uh, really, really work well when you're throwing those light Ned rigs. Now, Ned rigs, I mean, you can get 16th ounce, 10th ounce. I mean, you can get some really, really small stuff. So uh, I typically like a longer rod. Now, started with this guy right here. This is a newer rod on the market. It's a seven foot six. Let me read it for you seven foot six light action i mean that tip is super light you guys know that especially fishing smallmouth, i like throwing longer rods so this is a seven foot six light action and it doesn't break the bake the <laughs> break the bank a little tongue twister there for you but uh, that zodius paired up with that vanford straight six pound fluorocarbon five pound fluorocarbon um, that is an awesome awesome really good middle of the price point uh, uh, rod and reel combo for specifically Ned Ridding. Now this will work on light hair jigs. It'll work specifically on lighter baits. That seven foot six give you, gives you that distance to cast. And when you load up on that fish, that rod's gonna bend deeper down into this blank and it's gonna keep th those fish pinned, especially when they're jumping and stuff. But that, that more parabolic bend in that rod is gonna help you land more of those big fish. 
This one I'm still playing around with. So far, I really, really like it. The IMX Pro uh, came out. Now this is available in NRX Plus all the way down, but they have their Ned Rig rod. This is actually the 882. It's a seven foot four. So again, IMX Pro is kind of going a little bit longer than that traditional seven foot, seven foot two. So a seven foot four rod. It's really well balanced, really light in the hand and, and extremely sensitive. So the reason that I haven't completely fallen in love with this guy yet is because typically when I'm fishing, uh, well, more recently I've been fishing up uh, Great Lakes, fishing really clear water, big smallmouth, and I'm throwing this guy right here. This is like the top of the line, top of the line. This is a Conquest. This is the 902. So it's a seven foot six, two power rod paired up with that Shimano Stella. That is why I haven't spent as much time as I'd like with that, uh, that IMX Pro, just because this is just a, this is the, the best of the best. In my opinion, that Conquest, again, you get that longer rod out there, uh, allows you to make those long casts, especially in clear water skittish fish, uh, specifically talking smallmouth, you know, those fish can be ghosts. They get, they get a, a sense that you're there or something's not right, they're out, especially with that clear water. So I like having that longer rod, but that seven foot six Conquest, uh, that is my, my favorite. Now, with that said, that seven foot four IMX Pro, uh, I'm really looking forward to, to catching a lot more fish on. It just feels really, really, it could be the X-Sense paired up with it too, but it just feels really, really light in the hand. You know, that Stella is a little bit heavier than that Xsense, but uh, I'll link some budget stuff down below in the video description too. Any of your little bit longer, so your seven foot two, seven foot three, one or two power rods will, will work great. You know, there's a few different uh, options in that $100 price point, so we'll try and link those for you too. But uh, guys, we just wanted to go through and start, uh, start these buyer's guides off uh, after the after the rods and reels and the baits, get into some more of the finesse stuff. So um, hopefully this helps you guys. Hopefully this simplifies it. You know, take our confidence and, and run with it because these baits right here uh, get bit and they put fish in the boat. So again, I will link everything down below in the video description. Uh, I'll link some of my favorite colors. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comment section. I will try to get to those as soon as possible, help you guys out with purchasing the right stuff. We know these, these buyer's guides are hard. We know that fishermen in general are hard to buy for, so that's why we do them, so that you can take this video, share it with people, so they know what to get you for, the, for Christmas. But uh, again, if you have any questions, please leave those down below in the comment section. I'll try to get to those as soon as possible. But uh, like and subscribe. As always, guys, we appreciate you. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.